Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Playwright MCP tutorial, I'll explain you how you can use Playwright MCP to automate the web browser. So let's quickly go ahead and play around or understand some of the key areas or key sections into the Playwright MCP server and then using the copilot chat will understand how you can execute the test cases. So if you go to the MCP servers in the uh, VS code, we have already understood how you will install the MCP server, then the copilot login, uh, how you can create and then using the copilot extension, how you can install copilot extension in VS code. In previous video, I have explained everything. So if you have watched and configured everything, this is how you will be. So in the extensions, you will be having the playwright. And then in the right hand side at the bottom, you will see the GitHub Copilot logo and at the top as well. So if you go ahead and click on this arrow at the top, you will see open chat section available. So this will open this chat window that that is here. Okay. So now in this chat window, you have the button add context and then below you have the set mode. So let's understand what all set mode is all about. So at the moment I have set the mode to agent, but then you you have the ask mode and you have edit mode and you have agent mode. So what exactly the ask mode is it will it's more of you asking the questions to the large language model. So in the right hand side, you will see these are the LLMs that are available in this free version. So I can choose Claude or Gemini or chat GPT, uh, the GPT-4, GPT-4, 4.0 or O3 mini, any of these. And then you can also add premium models. If you have the premium model paid account, you can add the premium models here as well. But we'll just stick to the Claude Sonnet 3.5, which is available here. and in the ask mode it will answer your queries okay then in the edit mode if you choose the edit mode so it will edit in the context so the context that you choose for example in your repo or the code base that you are working on if you want to edit something you get the suggestion and then also want the ai to edit the code base based on your acceptance and um, if you if you accept the suggestions then that's what the edit mode is all about then the next one is the agent mode in the agent mode as we have understood previously as well the ai agent it has the capability to reason and along with the llm now llm has the chat component which is this and then the agent mode will help us to also communicate to the playwright mcp server right that that's what we understood in the previous theory video of llm playwright mcp and agent how all of these three are interconnected so this chat is the chat component of the llm agent is the component of llm which helps to connect to the external server which has the reasoning capability which has the memory to store the previous previous request or the previous chats that you have made so a lot of things are available within the agent now add context is the context basically if i want to say add the context of the mcp server or, or the tools okay in the tools whatever tools you will be available there will be available for example i want to use mcp server uh, playwright mcp server so use all the playwright tools so that context i can add i can add some other context of the files and folder for example the code base that i have the repo that i have instructions so all of that you can provide in the context that's the context part now llm the model you can change anyways so if you want to drive the browser using the playwright mcp server and the playwright tool we have to set the mode to agent mode and then simply we will go ahead and type in our test that we want to execute in the plain english here all right so for example if we if i simply open uh, this is the demo website source demo and here you will see that there are some usernames and password that are available on the screen itself i want to do data drive uh, data driven testing for the login functionality using these usernames that are available here and the password that is available on the screen okay so i'll go ahead and straight away write in the query or my test that i want to perform in plain english let's start writing that okay so i will say let me copy that url so i'll say perform data driven testing for login functionality on source demo website so i provided the link i'll say for this website on edge browser okay let's let's see that we are launching the edge browser and use the username and passwords available on 
main page okay let's see that this agent has the capability to reason what i'm trying to do so data driven testing of the login functionality on this website for this website edge browser and the context i have chosen playwright even if you don't choose automatically you know by default it it chooses the context and use the username and password available on the main page okay so i have also instructed that username and passwords are available on the page, main page so let's see what happens so i'll simply send this query in the agent mode and the llm is clawed sonnet so you'll see i'll help you perform data driven testing and you will see the browser has launched so you'll see source demo has been launched and i'm not doing anything and it is picking up the username from the screen itself the password from the screen and let's see what happens you'll see straight away it logged in right now again another test because i have instructed to do data driven testing and username and password are available on the screen itself so you'll see that error has appeared which is logged out user obviously the error will be there so let let it complete with all these accepted username and password that are available on the screen it's doing the data driven testing so it will do for all six usernames that are available so this is the pop up basically this is the google pop up we can also ask the llm to accept this pop up right in future i mean in the test or the text that i have written i can say you accept this or, or press ok when you encounter this error then llm will also be able to handle this but in the background it's doing all those test cases as you can see now this is the message because this is the, these are the public username and password so obviously they'll be in the data breach let me open vs code as well okay so you will see that it has ran all of those and it is creating the summary of the data driven testing along with the results so how amazing is that right so you'll see if i go ahead and see all the steps sometimes say for example you are uh, you you are giving this query it will ask you at every sort of step to continue in the in this particular session or the whole session or for this whole environment so i would suggest you know because this is playwright mcp server it's from the reputed from microsoft so i you you can go ahead and accept for this whole context and you won't be able to see those accept messages for every step all right as as for me it has already gone through and executed all those test cases so in case you encounter that error so you'll see what has happened so let's see what it has done so this is the query that i have asked right perform data driven testing plain english for login functionality provided the url edge browser with the username and password that are available on the main page and with just this bit it has been able to analyze the login page so it's, it will say it, it has gone to the source demo.com using the credential and each test combination it has navigated so run navigate to the url you will see that it has navigated to the url i can see the test credential and then it has seen the credential also and these are the credential that it has, it can see so visually this ai is able to visualize the whole page and see what is available there then accordingly let's test each, each combination so first test with standard user so you'll see that it has done the standard user test all right then another test accordingly you'll be testing with the logged out user results for the standard user successfully logged in redirected to inventory page then next user then logged out user then problem user so all of these are happening so you'll see this is this this step is the for for username this is for the password this is for the click for every username and password it is doing the data driven testing as we used to do for with any of the automation tool for example selenium and uh, playwright by default with the language bindings we used to write the script and do the data driven testing here with just statement and providing where the username and passwords are it has been able to analyze and do the data driven testing so basically with this approach as well we can this straight away this is not going to i mean this is very simple test right this is not removing or if we just say that this test if it if it has been able to do this test it will be able to do the complete testing that's not the case in your framework there will be lot of complex scenarios and workflows which it might not be able to achieve but all of these capabilities for example data driven capabilities that the data that is there we have pointed to the 
web page. We can also point it to the existing folder. For example, we have the data in the CSV format. We can say, okay, refer to the CSV format. So now your work will be really easy if you have this uh, Playwright MCP server, GitHub Copilot, you can straight away write your test cases in plain English and maintain that in your automation repo. And those test cases you can also go ahead and execute in bunch or using the CI/CD pipeline. So we'll cover all of that in the full course later. But you can see how effective it was in analyzing this page. This is very simple page. This is not a complex page. Many times I have seen this failing on the complex pages, but it learns, right? So as say, for example, if I choose a complex travel website, the real uh, production website, it might fail first time and then second time it will start passing. So it will analyze and go ahead and learn and provide you the result. So eventually it ran all those users and then also provided you the summary of results. So this is the test result or test execution summary for each of these users for the login functionality along with the what, what has been the whether it's success or failure and then behavior. What is the behavior? So logged in successfully, successfully but noticeable performance delay. Right. So also being able to analyze the performance delays and provide you with the results. So this is how the Playwright MCP server along with GitHub Copilot is going to help you to automate the web browser. This is very simple case, but I highly recommend you to go ahead and give it a shot for complex scenarios that you might have in your existing product, uh, existing project. If you have the GitHub Copilot Pro account, obviously, uh, because you can't, this is all public data. So you can't just sign in and use it in your office project. So office must go ahead and approve all of these uh, tools to be used. So if you have internal tools and Copilot available, go ahead and explore these and explore the option. In the upcoming videos, I'll cover more complex scenarios with Playwright MCP and see what it can do. So pretty exciting. Stay tuned and we'll learn a lot more with Playwright MC. Thank you. See you in the next one.